The movie opens up in the middle of dense forest where a young girl named Anna lives with her guardian Gabe. She calls Gabe her daddy and the latter takes care of her needs and ensures her good health. Gabe has been keeping Anna in the attic of the house never let her explore the outside world. The little girl has never been outside the attic except for a window that offers a glimpse of the world beyond almost every night. Gabe describes wildlings. Frightened creatures with sharp teeth, long nails and a hairy appearance to Anna suggesting she stay away from them. These descriptions scare Anna but her curiosity about the outside world continues growing to protect her from the wildlings and to prevent her from leaving the attic. Gabe electrified doorknobs he claims to be her father provides for her giving her only vegetables to eat and forbidding me. One day Anna overhears Gabe talking to someone else and her curiosity gets the better of her she touches the doorknob and receives a powerful electric shock causing her to lose consciousness late when she wakes up Gabe is by her side explaining that the electric trap is meant to keep wildlings out he reveals that she is the last surviving child on earth and it is his duty to protect her Anna asks about the person Gabe was speaking to but he diverts the topic and insists they are the only humans left on Anna's birthday Gabe surprises her with a cake and a hamster as a companion. The little animal becomes Anna's closest friend however one day the hamster dies and Gabe explains the concept of death to her assuring her that the hamster is in a better place now. As Anna grows older she starts have nightmares of wildlings in the woods, foreigners puberty and begins menstruating Gabe finds blood stains on her bed worried he administers Lou relied a medication that slows her growth and worsens her health over time disguising it as a treatment for her illness this medication continues for years and Anna starts feeling pain and uneasiness because of it unable to bear it anymore she requests Gabe to end misery by sending her to a better place like her hamster hearing this Gabe becomes overwhelmed well, with guilt as he has been troubling little girl right since her birth so he brings out a gun and ends himself the following scene Anna wakes up hospital surrounded by unfamiliar faces causing her to panic she then immediately escapes her room and finds herself on the rooftop experiencing warmth of the sun for the first time however some officers bring her back the hospital room and restrain her to bed sheriff Ellen helps calm her down and learns about her true identity doctor reveals that Anna has been given an overdose of luprolide a medication that delays maturity and inhibits growth hearing this sheriff Ellen releases Anna from the restraints and takes her into temporary custody rather than sending her to any foster home she decides to take her to her own home where she lives with her brother Ray the sheriff agrees to take care of her while they await DNA tests to determine her identity and whether Gabe is her biological father here we get to know that Gabe is not dead he is actually being treated in other room of the hospital moving on Anna begins to settle in into her new life and develops a close bond with Riri teaches her about reproduction as Anna previously had misconceptions about how babies are made as she enters puberty she discovers her exceptional hearing ability and starts having visions of wildlings in the northern lights forest Anna also attends school with Ri where she meets girls her age for the first time driven by curiosity Anna visits the library to learn more about the northern lights and the wildlings. Under Ellen's care Anna now enjoys the freedoms to explore nature and spend time outdoors one day while she is returning from school she spots a deer and gives it a chase luckily before Anna's about to stumble into a hunter's trap a strange man wearing wolf skins. His outfit blocks her way the next day curious to learn more 
more about feral predators Anna visits the library as she flips through the pages of a book she notices black marks on her fingernails. Later at night when Anna's in the bathtub Ellen reveals the results of the DNA test indicating that Gabe is not her biological father. This revelation leaves Anna clueless as the concept of the family remains unclear to her one evening Anna and Reed spend time together on the rooftop while Reed tries to assist her with a school assignment Anna's attention is drawn the topic of the northern lights as they lie down Anna notices flickering lights in the distance which turn out to be a party at Jen's house Anna mentions that Jen is her friend and they both decide to attend the party this is the first time she's heading to a large gather. However after consuming a drink Anna starts feeling disoriented during party re and Anna share a brief romantic moment that catches the attention of Lawrence their classmate. Unfortunately their kiss is abrupt interrupted when Anna's mouth starts bleeding she rushes to the bathroom and discovers that she is losing some of tea filled with panic and escapes through a window and runs through a forest. Suddenly she's attacked from behind by what appears to be a wildling act of self-defense and her fights and bites back only to realize that it is Lawrence. She tries to help him up but unfortunately it is too late the poor boy dies due to severe blood loss. Worried Anna runs away and returns to Gabe's home in search of answers about her own identity. Seeking solace she heads to the ash and enters her old bedroom. She then cleans herself up and immediately makes her way into town. When she arrives home Ellen questions her whereabouts but Anna doesn't disclose anything and simply remains silent right. Then officer Roger arrives there, reveals that Lawrence has disappeared. He tries to question Anna if she knows something about it but Ellen dismisses the idea and sends him away afterwards. She confronts Anna in an attempt to extract information but the teenager keeps her mouth shut shut confining thoughts and experiences to herself as the days pass Anna's ongoing silence starts to bother Ellen who notices her painting her nails instead of talking. That evening Re enters the room to address Anna's distress and assures Ellen that he will take care of it but despite his best efforts Anna remains quiet. Re then checks her mouth and learns that she's losing her teeth in a panic. He immediately goes outside to inform Ellen giving Anna the opportunity to escape. She runs into the woods the only place she feels safe and calm to her surprise. She encounters Wolfman again who offers her food after noticing her hungry, then examines her nails and teeth. Suspecting she might be a wildling group that was supposedly eliminated 16 years ago the Wolfman also reveals that her mother's body is still present inside the cave intrigued by the chance to learn about her mother's identity. Anna follows Wolfman to a nearby cave. Inside she discovers a skull with a bullet hole in it holding it she gets a vision of Gabe her supposed father. Shooting her mother it becomes clear that Gabe took part in the purge but couldn't harm baby Anna so he brought her along with him after knowing this. Anna goes straight to the hospital confront Gabe but sadly she is unable to do anything as Gabe wakes up and looks at her with pitiful eyes. Meanwhile Ellen examines the case file regarding Lawrence's death and notices a connection to a drawing from Anna's old room. The latter also returns home, desperately seeking protection. But unfortunately as soon as Ella notices her claw-like nails she's handcuffs her. Ellen then reveals that Anna's clothes were found near Lawrence's dead body and that's why the entire city suspects her of the murder. Next Anna is sent to jail despite her pleas that she is innocent while in prison she looks into the mirror, notices her teeth growing sharp, resembling the skull she found that night Gabe visits Anna and her cell, admitting that sparing her life was his biggest mistake. He gives Anna a syringe urging inject herself for a chance at a better life however Anna embracing her identity as a wildling refuses the injection. Gabe becomes emotional as he leaves her in the cell and walks away.
away the next day. Ellen checks on Anna who is hiding on the bed and sleeping. Ellen opens the cell but Anna surprises her by attack. Unexpectedly she then manages to lock up the officers including Ellen and escapes. Once she reaches outside she coincidentally finds Ree in his car and approaches him and convinces him to help her. She wants him to drive her to Northern Lights the place where she was born on the way Anna also reveals that she is a wildling later Re stops the car in the middle of the forest and Anna decides to continue her journey alone but Re is worried for her well-being so he begins following in the darkness Anna takes a swim in nearby lake and ends up soaking wet concerned that she might catch a cold Re sets up a bonfire to dry her clothes as Anna takes off her garments Re notices hair growing on her back becomes startled however Anna reassures him that he is safe and promises not to harm him the scene then shifts to Roger and Gabe discussing Anna's escape a, a lot of thinking they decide to organize a group of hunters to capture Anna in the next scene we see Anna and Re running into the woods while they are being pursued by search dogs unfortunately the hunters also arrive at the same time and shoot Re in shoulder as they struggle to find escape route Anna takes Re on a cliff determined to save him she pushes him into the water and then dives in her cell to evade capture after this Anna leads the hunters in a different direction while asking Re to run in the opposite direction Anna then goes straight to the same cave where she found her mother's remains next Re reunites with his sister and informs her that Anna is no longer with Anna is now alone adapting to desperate measures to survive. During the first few days of her survival in the forest Anna undergoes a transformation and turns into a wild to keep herself hidden the hunters. She covers her face and body with dirt as camouflage one morning during his daily walk to the school re notices Roger filling up gallons with gas. Suspecting that they are planning hunt and kill Anna Re quickly calls Ellen and informs her about Forest Anna manages to kill one of the hunters by knocking him down and as the group gathers around the body she runs away Anna has now transformed into complete wildling and she can hunt people in the blink of an eye. Meanwhile Ellen arrives at Forest to rescue the troubled teenager she gets scared seeing the dead bodies lie around and to make matters worse Roger holds her at gunpoint asking her to stay away from the matter but right then Anna arrives there kills Roger as well she reveals herself to Ellen show her pregnant belly before fleeing in the following scene the hunters set the forest on fire further fueling Anna's anger she witnesses the fire engulfing her home and realizes that she must find a way to escape the heat despite her pregnancy limiting strength Anna runs around seeking refuge eventually she ends up in a familiar cave similar to where she was found to her dismay Gabe tracks her down and sedates her with a tranquilizer the shock weakens Anna causing her to collapse to the floor Gabe then approaches her to check her vital signs reminiscing about her mother he performs a c-section to claim unborn child but Anna regains strength and inflicts a fatal bite on Gabe's neck which finally kills him after this she lets out an angry shriek before falling to the ground once again upon regaining consciousness Anna finds Wolfman stitching her wounds the next day while searching for Anna Ellen and re-notice her from a distance and decide to allow her to escape into wilderness both of them believe that letting her go will be the best thing to do for her eventually Anna reaches the northern lights her ultimate goal holding her newborn child she gazes at the beautiful sky feeling peace and contentment with her life the movie ends with Anna Anna hear a call of a wildling in the distance, suggesting that their kind is still alive.